Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for the opportunity to assemble together, and we ask you to help us accomplish three things in this hour and all throughout the year as defined by the reeds across America. First, to remember the fallen. Second, to honor those that served and their families. And finally, by our example today and every day, to teach our young as well as our communities the value and price of freedom, while we also bear in mind and in heart our unique history. Then in the process of this, help us, Lord, to embrace what it truly means to be an American, what the blessings are, as well as the responsibilities. Father, we are joined together in spirit with others who also participated in Reeds Across America Day at Arlington, at veteran cemeteries, and all across locations in 50 states. And so we ask your blessings and protections upon us all. We ask for mercy and comfort for the families of those who have known loss and sacrifice, because when the soldier serves, the family serves. Help us to hear their hearts and share in their sorrows and joys and continue with them in friendship and care. Grant them, Lord, your peace. Lead us and guide us, Lord. Give us deep and abiding love for you and for our country, which you entrusted to us, to be, to be and to remain a city on a hill, a beacon of light extended across the world with a message of hope and liberty as we, the citizens, learn to live worthy of the gift of freedom in thought, word, and deed. Amen. He is a 2002 graduate of Fishburne Military School, where he received an advanced diploma, and a 2006 graduate of the Virginia Military Institute, where he received his bachelor's in history with a minor in English and a, comp and a commission into the Virginia National Guard. He enlisted in the Virginia National Guard while he was a cadet at VMI and has served as a platoon leader in Virginia, as an electronic warfare officer in Afghanistan from 2010 to 2011, as a battalion supply and maintenance officer in Kuwait from 2014 to 2015, and now as an electronic warfare technician assigned to the local 116th Stonewall Brigade. He has been awarded the Bronze Star the Army Accommodation Medal with Bronze Oak Leaf, and the Army Achievement Medal with the Bronze Oak Leaf. He has taught at Fishburne for five years, is in his second term appointed to the City of Stanton's Boards of, of Building and Fire Code Appeals, and is halfway complete with his Master's in History from Southern New Hampshire University. Our guest speaker today, Chief Philip Lacey. Thank you, Major Green, sir. Distinguished guests, faculty, staff, members of the Corps of Cadets, friends and family. Today we, we remember that there are soldiers, sailors, airmen, Marines, and Coast Guardsmen who are and have been on duty, on the front lines, out at sea, in the air, facing our enemies and protecting us citizens while we here at home sleep warm and secure enjoying the holidays, and living our lives. We appreciate our fighter pilots who keep saying us flight path secure so that our presents arrive on time. The Bible says that there is no greater love than one who lays down their life for someone else. That does not mean to die. That's what the enemy is supposed to do. Rather, it means to give up oneself. Our uniform personnel forfeit comforts safety, family, dreams, and other enjoyments while activated. The enemy does not cease their relentless efforts to disrupt our peace, even on Christmas. I personally have twice served over Christmas time, first in Afghanistan and then in Kuwait. Having a chance to call home, even for maybe 15 minutes, to tell your love that you love them is perhaps the sweetest Christmas gift imaginable. Those conversations are ones that you never forget. Let us not forget either this holiday season about today's service members and their families missing them. 
Let us not forget those service members who are resting in foreign soil, those who will never return home to their loved ones, nor those whom are sitting in enemy prisons or in unmarked graves. Their self-sacrifice is the most important gift that you will receive this Monday. Thank you again for the honor today to address the Corps. Now Cadet Sergeant Rose will lay a wreath in memory of those who served and those who are serving in the United States Army. Now Cadet Sergeant Stevenson will lay a wreath in memory of those who served and those who are serving in the United States Navy. Now Cadet Sergeant Hunter will lay a wreath in memory of those who served and those who are serving in the United States Marine Corps. Now Cadet Sergeant Lib will lay a wreath in memory of those who served and those who are serving in the United States Air Force. Now Cadet Sergeant Saunders will lay a wreath in memory of those who served and those who are serving in the United States Coast Guard.
Now Cadet Sergeant Jarrett will lay a wreath in memory of those who served and those who are serving in the United States Merchant Marines. Now Cadet Sergeant Grant will lay a wreath in memory of more than 83,000 United States servicemen from all branches whose last known status was either prisoner of war or missing in action. These brave men and women have never returned to their homes and families. We shall not forget you. The band will play America the Beautiful. Cadet Sergeant Belial will lay a wreath symbolizing the entire armed forces. The band will now play Old Angsai. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the benediction. Let us pray. Father, be with us as we move forward to fulfill your will today as your people, as American people, this day and every day, with all our soul, with all our heart, and with all our strength, while we yet have breath. God bless and keep America, America. Amen.